Hello everyone, welcome back to our Codeignator for Tutorials. In this session, we are going to discuss about is logged in filter. It is not any predefined filter, just we are going to create this filter now and by using controller filters. In the previous session, we created date filter. By using that filter, we can display date before and after controller execution completed. Now, what this logged in filter is going to do? By using this filter, we can allow the users to access some of our controllers if they can logged in only. Otherwise, we are going to redirect him to login page. Let me show you and let me explain you the situation how exactly this is going to be implemented here. So, in this index method, if you can observe, there is a method, there is a small logic written. If user has not logged in, we are going to redirect him to login page. Did you observe this statement? I didn't write for all the methods. I written only for index method. For logout, I didn't write. For login activity, we didn't write. For author, we didn't write. Can you see? So if you didn't define this condition, what is going to happen? We can access those methods directly. Now you can see I am going to write dashboard slash edit. If we can just write edit method. It is allowing you to access this page. It is not redirecting you back. For example, if you just access index method, you will redirect. Why? Because in the index method only we written this condition. That's why you are redirecting back to your login page. But in the dashboard slash AVATR author, it is allowing you to access this. Anyhow, you are in the dashboard controller of author method. But this method, edit method, author method, change password method, every method you can access if you can log in only. So what I need to do guys here, definitely whatever the condition I written here. So this is the condition I have to keep in each and every method of my controller class now I'm just keeping every method can you see this is login activity and this is going to be author method in every method why because these methods can accessible if user can logged in only otherwise we don't want to allow that's the reason we are keeping this condition now can you see if I hit enter you will automatically redirect to login page right we are writing this code in each and every where of your methods controller methods now we are discussing one controller tomorrow we may have n number of controllers will you write the same statement in each and every where is it correct one no this is not at all correct one before accessing this controller i want to check so we know that dashboard is a controller so when can you access dashboard controller if you can log into if we can log into the application, then only we can access dashboard controller. Any of the method in the dashboard, first of all, you have to log in. So how can I check whether user is logged in or not? If user logged in, then I have to do something. So in the early guys, if you know Codeignator 3, what is the, in Codeignator 3, we can write the same logic inside the constructor. I'm rollbacking guys here, all the code, whatever the code I written here. Okay, perfect. Now in the early Codeignator 3, people will always write the logic here. So if you can write some logic in the constructor, that is going to be common for each and every method. Before any method gets called, constructor will be called. The constructor will check whether user is logged in or not. If user lo didn't log in, it will automatically redirect to your home page. But remember, constructor method does not return anything. So even if you can write return statement here, this won't work seriously, guys, right? Now you can just, you can write return statement. Without return statement also, we can write, this is won't work. Can you see now? I'm just going to access dashboard or dashboard slash edit. I'm just writing dashboard slash edit. It is not going to. Can you see? Still, it is allowing you dashboard editor as well as dashboard author also. So this we cannot write. Even if we can remove written statement also, this doesn't do anything, guys. If it is a Codeignator 3, it will work perfectly for us. But it is Codeignator 4. In Codeignator 4, redirect, redirect method will always return something. So but constructor does not return anything. Remember carefully. Methods may return anything, something. But constructor does not return anything. So we definitely we cannot write this here. So what is the best solution? Sir, this is dashboard controller. For dashboard controller, we may have six to five methods. For every method, if you want to see, first you have to log in. Otherwise, we don't want to allow you. Not only dashboard controller, tomorrow we are going to implement admin dashboard. Then in admin dashboard, so many controllers we are going to create. Each and every controller is going to be restricted. Admin only can see. Each and every controller may have different number of methods. In each and every method, can we write this logic guys here? So is this is correct one to write in each and every method? No, what is the best part here? It's all about the filters. How can we create a filter for the logged in users? If we can log in, I don't, I want to allow you to do the dashboard or admin dashboard. Otherwise, I just want to redirect you back to login page. Let us see how can we create a filter here? This is all the real time situation guys. Now to implement this, let us create a filter. To create the filter, so we are going to our filters folder go to filters folder and try to create a filter 
I am going to create a filter name with a login filter. Let us create a class file. This is going to be login filter check. You can take anything, no problem. Just my filter name is going to be login filter. So namespace is app filter, perfect. Now this is the login filter. We know that each and every class is going to be implements uh, login filter. Every filter should implement this filter interface. Let us load these libraries first into it login filter. Okay, your filters, your libraries are ready. This is going to be implements filter interface. We know filter interface having two methods guys here. Let us implement the two methods here. So public function before before function had one parameter as well as public function after having two parameters one is request object one is response object let us have after method here right done guys we don't have any error right now so here i just want to write one logic what is that logic so login filter i want right if a user logged into this application i want to allow them otherwise i don't want to allow so how can we write the logic here Guys, this is the common logic, whatever the logic we have, that logic I am writing here. If session has logged in user, then we are going to allow the dashboard controller, any controller. Otherwise, then what it is going to do, it is going to restrict the user. If you didn't log in, it is going to not session has user data, you are automatically redirecting to login controller. This is what the logic we written. But remember, this login filter is going to be executed for each and every of your controller. But remember, it is not required to log in each and every controller, only dashboard controller only. Let us see how can we group the routes of dashboard controller into routes.php. This filter should apply only for dashboard. And next we are going to create one more filter that is going to be applied for only admin dashboard. When we are working with admin dashboard that I will tell you. But this time this is going to be work for only admin dashboard. Let us see how can we apply this login filter only on dashboard controller. But in the yesterday session we created a date filter. This date filter is going to be applied on each and every controller. But this should not be applied on each and every controller. This should be applied on only specific controller of your controllers. Let us see guys how we can apply. So controller filter is ready now we have to register this filter to do this go to your config open the filters.php so here we have to register the filter now i am going to create the filter guys the filter name is here is logged in so this is the filter that's why i given my title as is logged in filter so where is this is logged in filter this is logged in filter available in the same namespace and what is the class of it the class is going to be login filter right copy the login filter and just provide here this is going to be login filter that's it guys but remember when you are defining this on a specific controller in the group of routes we don't want to mention here so this is not required some people may forget and they will try to mention here maybe is logged in something like it is not at all required so don't do here nothing required guys here now done filter is ready but this filter should be called on the specific group of controller methods only guys what is my controller dashboard controller to do this we are going to open our routes.php in routes.php let me apply the group of routes here so we can create a group of routes guys here so let us go to the bottom of the page or somewhere we can just create the group of routes guys these are all the routes we created early okay let me create the routes here so these routes are going to be belongs to dashboard filter and the on this dashboard sorry dashboard controller on this dashboard controller we are going to apply a filter what is the filter we created here the filter name is going to be is logged in filter this is we are applying on dashboard controller methods only let us see how can we apply first here we are going to define the routes guys by using routes array routes of group there is a method inside of it we can define the group of routes also group in this group we can pass initially empty after that let me take a callback function this callback function is having a parameter call route routes parameter or more UTS routes is a parameter that's it spell mistakes don't check uh, please check the spell mistakes also or more UTS routes perfect now here we have to define the routes under the dashboard controller guys here and the filter should be applied here as a second parameter the filter is going to be applied here if you want you can write this as a filter also filter filter is a predefined keyword in this what is the name of the filter you created is logged in filter 
so sorry login filter or is login filter what is the name of it exactly what is the name you have here the same name you have to copy and you have to pass here guys not login filter this is the is logged in filter now this filter is going to be applied on specific group so let us define the routes here routes of get in this initially empty the controller is going to be dashboard controller let us take this as a dash b o a r d don't make spell mistakes otherwise it is going to be error index okay done in the same manner i want to define others also index method and dashboard edit dashboard author like this we have so many methods right let us define all the methods here this is going to be index method in the dashboard for this index method same same route uh, here we have dashboard slash edit let me write this something d a s h b o a r d dashboard slash edit for this dashboard slash edit in url if you want to change this yes we can change this just if we can call edit yes we can call it as edit no problem so this is anyhow we can generate search engine friendly urls right if we can just do it i mean dashboard controller we have edit method so if you want to execute that in the url localhost ci4 slash edit that's enough but anyhow i link it like this in my menu items that's why i'm giving like this guys here so like this we have to define each and everything guys now so after that we have author a b a t r author a b a t r author and author what is the route and what is the method so this is the dashboard controller and the method and this is the route you can take any naming convention here that is your choice author or user profile pic such a manner you can take so like this we have to check each and every method so this is going to be logout also i just want to go with logout login activity let me copy this login activity method here this is going to be login activity i'm giving the same uh, if you want you can change this naming convention also i mean uh shorten url if you want to make yes you can make it no problem in the same manner go to dashboard controller author done as well as uh, change password yes we have to add this also change password copy the method and uh, define this here this is going to be change password and change password for all these routes now the filter is going to be applied earlier we written one condition so is is user has logged in something we written now this is not required guys when the route is present in the url this filter is going to be called what this filter is going to do this filter is going to check user logged in or not if user logged in okay if user didn't log in it is going to redirect you back to login page we don't want to write this uh, is logged in a session in each and every page of your controller does not required perfect now you can come down is there any other method in the dashboard controller please check this is what are the methods we have and just we can check these methods guys so now you can just come down and uh, right we have one more method called edit method so let us copy this edit method also and define this in the route guys go there and just add this also edit method whatever the order it may be no problem order could be anything here right this is going to be edit right any other methods we have pending in this i think i think all the methods are covered i believe so i think we don't have any problem perfect guys now we can ready to work with them now can you see now i am open my browser now i am trying to access this page if we can refresh it can you see it is going to redirect back to your login page this is working perfectly now i want to access this dashboard can you see i'm hitting enter now you are directly redirecting to login page go to this and you written this condition this condition is not required right now so why because we define this in the following routes for the dashboard controller especially for dashboard controller we written now any of the method if you want to access this dashboard controller this is going to restrict guys dashboard slash author hit enter now you will automatically redirect to login controller this is what but if you want to access this register controller we don't have any problem we don't want to log in because we define this filter only on specific controller only if you didn't define on the specific controller route group then it is going to be applied on each and every controller of your application then one thing remember each and every controller is not required to log in some of the controller for example this is a home page controller we don't want to log in about we don't want to log in to see the about page right contact page also we don't want to log in to see the contact page so we have to decide what controller should be restricted what is not going to be restricted so this is all about our login filter guys 
so in the next session i mean in the upcoming sessions also when i am discussing admin dashboard i will implement same kind of group of routes guys there and how can we implement a group of routes uh, again there we can check this guys so this is how we can define the filter on a specific uri segment uri segments thank you guys this is all about our login filter if you have any doubts please comment under the video section and please subscribe our go go php channel thank you all